Coming to the stage, very funny man. Just recently opened up for Paul Rodriguez. He just also got back from the National NACA convention performing for college students. He's here tonight. A big welcome, please, for Jesus Sepulveda. Clap your hands. Jesus Sepulveda. Well, Sarah, how are we doing? We're good? Yes, energy's up. I'm liking that. I am liking that. Trump support in the front, I see you. <laughs> There's a strong looking Caucasian right here, just get it down. He's got his bottled wine, son of a bitch. Fucking right. Fucking right. You want it for Trump? Yeah, yes. You thinking about it? Look at he's looking at me. It's none of your goddamn business. Who I'm voting for. I'm Mexican, man, Latino. I don't know, yeah, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. That scream is loud enough for like 10 people. Woo! Like, yeah, that's only one person? Son of a bitch. I don't know how I feel about that uh, comment that Trump did. The whole Mexicans are lazy. It's a lot of pressure. For a Mexican, it's a lot of pressure for me. I can't be lazy. Do you guys don't understand? Do you know how hard it is not to yawn in front of white people now? <laughs> I cannot yawn in front of white people. I'm at Starbucks at five in the morning. <laughs> just fighting that yawn. Mm, I can't do it. Mm, I can't help. Don't do it. Because they're judging. They're like, you better not yawn. We don't like your kind over here, not the, not the lazy ones. No, you better not yawn. Or else you know who I'm gonna vote for if you do. I'm busting tables just to get a latte in there, bitch. I'm like, God damn it, you, you throw in the water? I'm gonna throw that water through. I'm just here for a latte, I gotta earn this. You gotta earn your citizenship. I'm like, God damn. Too much pressure. My dad's freaking out. He's the immigrant. He's freaking the fuck out. He's preparing for doomsday. That's what he calls it. He has waters like stack up to the ceiling. <laughs> Miko, when, when the Trump wins. <laughs> and immigration comes and takes everybody. <laughs> We've gotta be ready, we gotta be prepared. <laughs> like, what is this? What the fuck is this? Are you buying a gun? He's like preparing to like hide my aunts and we're gonna hide your tia in the wall and we're gonna pull. <laughs> we're gonna build a basement for grandma <laughs> to live in the basement. It's not a holocaust. I'm like, take it easy. It's not that serious. <laughs> Even my little cousin's got a journal, Anita Frank. I was like, take it easy. It's not that. <laughs> Relax, Dad. We're going to make the money with that, with that book. Don't throw the book away. <laughs> it was a freaking out, man. I'm watching a lot of TV, man. I'm proud of the, of the black actors for sticking up and boycotting. and They want their own awards. I, I, I like that. I think Latinos should have their own awards too. You know, but not even like with acting, okay? Whatever we're good at. Like I cannot wait for the construction awards. You know what I'm saying? Like I cannot wait. <laughs> now those are gonna be some hell of awards. Imagine, how, imagine the acceptance speech though, how awkward that's gonna be. Like, the Mexican freaking, oh my God, did it me? <laughs> I can't believe it in me. <laughs> Joseria's me. <laughs> the kids are with them. They're not babysitters. Mingo's there yelling at him too while he's walking up. Get out of here. I can't believe it. I can't believe me. So really picking me. He's thanking the wrong people. He's just like, I want to thank uh, my coyote for bringing me to the United States. <laughs> Come to the house for a barbecue. Carne asada. Come down. So he gets emotional. I also want to thank <laughs> Senor Johnson for picking me out of all the Mexicans in Gondipo. <laughs> he saw something in me, he didn't see in everybody else. <laughs> Come to the house too for a carne asada. <laughs> Mexicans always, that's how we thank people. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Come to the house, carne asada, barbecue. <laughs> we throw parties for no reason. We're always partying. On a weekday, we're always partying. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> It's a Wednesday, it's a school night, Dad. Like, I, I, I was going to kindergartens with a hangover too. Like, God damn, I'm going straight to nap time. I don't got time for this. 
If you've never been to the Latino party, you walk in there at three in the morning, you know where you're gonna see everybody dancing, including the kids. The kids are din, 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 din. The oldest is 10, and she's holding the little baby brother on her head. And even the baby's dancing. Na, 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 na. Meanwhile, my dad's in the corner being a pervert with my mom. He's just, <laughs> just grinding on her leg, not even dancing. <laughs> When we get home, I'm gonna give you the chimichanga. <laughs> the chili relleno. I'm a kid, like, what the hell is happening right now? And my mom's just standing there, just, oh my God, Gordo, you're so romantic today. What happened to you today? You're so romantic. But you always want to avoid that drunk, bitter uncle in the corner. He just hates life. He walks in there and just makes a bunch of, everybody can go to hell. Ching and a samari! <laughs> I don't like anybody in the ching and a samari. No one likes me, ching and a samari. It's like, Theo, relax, right? <laughs> get inside, get a beer. No, nigga, no one in there loves me. <laughs> no one in there. I was like, you're gonna get run over, you're in the street, get inside. Let me die! <laughs> Let me die! That's what they want, let me die! Your dad is still crying for the $20. Like, okay, I'm taking it. <laughs> Take it easy, deal. And we give each other nicknames. And not even like, like it's fucked up nicknames. Like whatever's wrong about your body, like that is your nickname <laughs> in a Latino household. It's messed up. Like I have an uncle that we call cumbia, right? For those who don't know what cumbia means, cumbia is a Latin dance, a lot of waist movement. We call him that because he was born with a bad hip. <laughs> so when he's walking, it looks like he's dancing. <laughs> it is the coldest shit ever. And my dad loves to make fun of him, especially if there's people that come in the house that haven't met him yet, he gets excited. He wants to show him off to get a good laugh, you know? <laughs> At a family barbecue, and then we, my, my two white friends walked in. He got excited, he's like, I got on cold, huh? Mijo, who are those people that came in the house? Are they your friends? Cadiz in cumbia. They come in cumbia! Give me five minutes, let me go talk to your friends. I swear to God, tells them, hey, hey, how you doing? Have you seen my brother cumbia? Yo, come in cumbia. Give me five minutes, let me call my brother, he's a funny guy. You're gonna like this guy. You see him in the back, and, cumbia! Run, spaghetti legs, get over here, girl. <laughs> Isn't my poor uncle has no idea what the catching, uh, what, what the hell? What's happening, what's going on? What happened, what's going on? <laughs> Mijo, who's saying my name? Your dad? I'll tell you the story later, it's not going to say my name. What happened, what's going on, girl? <laughs> who's saying my name? <laughs> my my dad is in the corner, jumping up and down. It's the leg going on. What happened? What's going on? Who's saying my name? I got little cousins that they tease them too. They circle them and they're just like, eh, 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 They're just furious. Get out of my way, but there you go. Respect your elders, go. Like poking his ass. Get that <laughs> the most fucked up shit ever, man. <laughs> Can't even go to the restroom because then, eh, eh, God damn it. My dad doesn't speak good English either. I hate it, man, because he's always coming up to me and asking me how to say things in English all the time. What pisses me off? But I hate it because he'll yell at me and then he'll ask for a favor. Like I don't think I don't know why Latinos think this shit is okay. <laughs> I look at white people like, yeah, you need your space. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> my dad would get, he'll see me coming home from school, like smiling, enjoying my life. And he's coming home from work, pissed off. Why the hell? I work in the sun all day, he's smiling. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm like, damn, what I do? And he, hey, I went in your room. It's a big sign, it's a mess! Go in there right now, go clean the room before I take the bell and I catch it right now. <laughs> I'm in the room, man, and I'm at this point wishing the worst because I'm pissed off. 
I'm throwing my fucking toys in his box, just crying. <laughs> I hope you get to Portland! <laughs> I hope my uncle killed you. Goombi, I hope he killed you. I was very dramatic, a lot of Disney Channel movies, you know what I mean? Just sticking up to my parents. <laughs> I don't deserve this, you know what I mean? I even told them, I am a citizen. <laughs> I do not deserve this. <laughs> Fidel Castro. <laughs> and my dad, dad, now he wants to be my buddy, right? Now he wants a favor, he wants to be my friend. He looks at me, hey, mijo. Get over here, already, already drunk. Get together. He looked just like me. Get out of here, Carlos. <laughs> look at my junior. Look at. <laughs> Mijo, how do you say? Que te quieres pelear. Man. He wanted me to say fight in English for him, right? I'm like, I'm, I'm pissed off. I look at him like, oh yeah, you want me to help you? <laughs> okay, the word is fuck. Okay, <laughs> it's fuck. And he looked at me like he knew something was up. He's like, fuck. Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> now leave me alone. I'm trying to clean my room here. What the hell? <laughs> Two days later, it backfires. Because we're at my brother's soccer game, okay? And it's an AYSO game, okay? White people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they take this shit way too professional. Like that. You see the co you got their rules, too much rules. Now you see the coach with the fucking with the clipboard, the short shorts and the sunscreen on the nose with the straw hat. And <laughs> He's always pissed off because the Mexican team is late. Where the hell are the Chivas? Have you guys seen the Chivas? <laughs> it's 8.30, where the hell are the Chivas? The American bald eagles have been here on time. <laughs> where the hell are the Chivas? You got the white soccer moms always over the top with their kids and these snacks, right? <laughs> you see them like, oh my, oh my God, have you seen Scooter? <laughs> Scoot, Scooter, come here, oh my God. Look, it's hot out here, we got you some oranges, okay, so you get hydrated. <laughs> my goodness, we don't want nothing to happen, my God. <laughs> and we got you some uh, Capri Suns in a cooler. <laughs> Wall Cherry, of course they know it's Wall Cherry. <laughs> I'm your mother, I love you. <laughs> Wait, go on. Now on the other side, they got Latina soccer moms, okay? Now they're a little different. They got the oranges, but the oranges have chili powder on them. You know what I mean? Who wants the, who wants the game? Who wants the game? Poor kids are having heartburn in the field. <laughs> they're burning. Take everything out, wow. Well. Can't even handle Chile, I mean, look at them. And they got Mexican Capri Suns, okay? For those that don't know what Mexican Capri Sun is, I'll tell you. A Mexican Capri Sun, it's a sandwich bag with horchata in it. All they do is tie up the bag really tight. It will throw off all the white kids in the field. Like, what the hell? I miss, I don't, is this gluten free? I I'm not supposed to have this. And my mom said, I can't have that. See the white mom, scooter, don't do it. Better not take that. And my mom will look at him and is like, oh no, it's, it's a Capri Sun, me go drink it, drink it, it's good for you. Okay, but if it's a Capri Sun, where's the straw? I didn't see a straw. A straw, bite the corner and suck on it, pendejo, I don't like this kid. Get him out of the team, I don't like him. Jason, he keeps crying, gluten free, it's free, drink it. <laughs> gluten free, too many questions. Latino dads are never encouraging either. They're not like white dads, like they miss a goal, like it's all right, son, try on the next one. No. <laughs> Latino dads don't mess around. <laughs> My dad would threaten us before we even got to the soccer field, okay? <laughs> he would load up the truck, pull us to the side, hey, come here, Carl, come here, okay. Let me talk to you. Today! <laughs> you better not waste my time, okay? <laughs> I can watch a real soccer game on TV, don't waste my time! I want you to make 10 goals today, okay? <laughs> Listen to me, 10 goals. <laughs> Don't waste my time. I'm in the soccer field freaking out like, how the fuck? Because <laughs> I was the goalie, I was like, how the hell am I gonna make those 10 goals? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling the team, we better make some goddamn goals, man. 
My dad set up the chair. Bang! Oh, God, I'm not wasting my time. Because my dad just wanted us.